Hey everyone, this is Grant from Spectral Racing. So this is the advanced video on how to get your data telemetry onto your GoPro videos. All right, as you see here, we're not actually in the car, um, but this will show you uh, in a much easier, more visible fashion on how to get this all to work together. So first thing you're gonna need is your GoPro. You can turn your GoPro on, So what you're going to want to do is make sure you get the Wi-Fi on. Okay, so once you got the Wi-Fi on, go to your phone. Make sure you connect. You got your Wi-Fi on, you got your Bluetooth. If you have a Bluetooth OBD2 reader now, Go back and watch my video on how to connect the OBD2 to your cell phone. So right now I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi. So we need to go to and find the Spectra Racing. So doing it through here just works a lot better. Now if you have, uh, this is obviously for Android. So once we're connected to the GoPro, you're going to want to make sure this is then your OBD2, your Bluetooth OBD2, is connected to your car. Turn your car on, at least the battery on, and make sure it's synced up as well uh, via Bluetooth. So then you're going to open up Track Addict. Kick the uh, screen out here. All right, so you see it gives this little green status symbol for the exterior cam. Now that is your GoPro. And the reason why we're doing it all this way is because in post, as in when you go to edit the video, you're gonna want it as easy as possible because otherwise you're gonna have to sync up all the data and it's a pain in the butt to do that. So when you get your OBD2 connected, it'll give you the green status symbol. Like I said, right now we're in my office, we're not in a car, so it's just gonna keep flashing red. Now the GPS, you can turn on a the GPS on your phone. Most phone GPSs are pretty terrible. So I actually use another GPS. I use a Bluetooth GPS. Now with Android, you can have more than one um, GPS, uh, more than one connection at a time. But if you want to connect this, all you got to do is just turn it on, and it'll sync up via your phone. I can do that right now. You see, it should be able to turn. So I'm going to set this aside while it's syncing up. Okay, so we, what you'll do then is, like in my previous videos, you'll put this cell phone um, in your car somewhere. Now what I'd recommend doing is getting a mount uh, like I use. And then you see here I have it set to front mount camera. So that way you can put the camera up somewhere in your car and it will then record facing you so you have a good selfie view. Now if you want you can face it around the other way or if you get a mount where you can position the back camera forward you can do that too. But you know I see no point in having two forward facing views if you're using GoPro. So when you get up to the line uh, and you're ready to go what all you'll do is just hit record. Now the car will either wait the, the app will either wait till you're moving or it will, uh, you just hit record now. So, so you hear the, the GoPro beep there. That means it started recording. Um, and one thing that's weird with Track Addict is it doesn't start recording the front facing view until it detects you're moving. It does start the data telemetry though. So, once you're uh, back through, uh, uh, 
you know, done your competitive driving <clears throat> competitive driving event, you come back through. Uh, well, I gotta stop it here because we're not actually moving. See here, it stops recording. You go into your sessions. Now here, my this is probably not the greatest example because this phone is not connected to the to any kind of service, so all the dates are out of whack, and that's actually caused a lot of problems for me. For me, but uh, you'll see uh, the the event. So I'm actually just going to click on just one random one here. So you can play your video. Now this, remember, this will play your phone video. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take the data from the app, share. We're going to send the raw data, send it to your email. Or what I do is you can also, uh, I've already done it on, on the phone here, but what you can do is you can move the data to the to a place in your phone so you can plug your phone into your computer and grab it from your computer but you know emailing is pretty easy I've had some times where the, your email will block it because it comes across as a weird Excel file it should come across as a .csv file alright so what we're gonna do we're gonna load up a uh, race render and I'll show you how to import the data and put everything together All right, so we're here on my desktop now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all the files together that we need to make the combined video with the data, the video, and if you want, the selfie video. So I plug my SD card in to the GoPro. Now I had to kind of figure out which file it was as this is from the June event autocross, which my GoPro overheated because it was so hot. So I figured out this was the third run, this file right here. So I'm going to copy it. Just put it to my desktop for now. So the other thing I did is um, I went into I went into uh, Track Addict and I moved the files from internal storage to the SD card storage. And the reason I did that is it makes it a little bit easier to find. Um, so what you have to do, you have to go in, if you have an Android phone, you have to go into like Android data, and then you hunt it down, and it's under, uh, Track Addict here, HP Tuners. So you can see, here are the two files, this was at 10.33 on June 2nd, so these are the two files I need, this is the data log file. And this is the selfie video. So we're going to copy those off my phone. Copy that to the desktop. Hopefully it now won't take forever. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Race Render. Now in my previous video I talked about Race Render, the software you'll need. Um, I have the, there's, I think there's, there's a free, I don't want to update. There's a free version and there's a medium version and there's an advanced version. The advanced version is only $10 more than the medium version, so might as well just get it. I think it's $50. Uh, it's a great piece of software. So, there's a couple presets set with Race Render. We're going to want um, picture and picture with a data logger. So you can also set up your own custom ones. I use custom ones, but this take hours to explain that. So we're going to set up this project. So your main video, so your main video is going to be on the desktop. It's be your Go profile. Your secondary video, that's your selfie view. It's going to be this file. Now your data, your data is that Excel file. It's a .csv file. Hit OK. Now you can select your different kind of HUD. Now, um, doesn't really matter if your car is more old school, you can get some more of the old school heads up displays. Um, I just like the gamer hood. I have designed my own, um, which took an immense amount of time. So now you have your parameters that you set.
Now, uh, my car's red line is not 8200 RPM. This was still set from when I was working on uh, Mike's GT350. So my car's red line is 6000. So uh, a lot of these data parameters actually come off your phone and on car to car they don't always work perfectly throttle position never works on my car because my tune uh shift light you can have that and you can set it i don't bother no one really cares about that um really your most important ones are going to be um your speed and your tech you can go back if you have a gps module like i was showing you earlier you can select track map but it's never really going to work that well, even with a great GPS module for autocross on a runway, where it's just up and down. So for now, we're just going to do speed and tack. Say OK. And now, you see, um, I was lazy, and I didn't set the GoPro to the correct orientation from the last time I used it. Um, so luckily, in race render, is a, it's really easy to make changes. All you got to do is just uh, flip it. So, there you go. Problem solved. So there you go. And that's about it. Now everything should be synced up. So I'm gonna watch the video here. We're gonna kind of skip ahead a little bit, make sure everything's synced up. Now if it's not, and it not, it's not always perfect, and I'm not sure why, but it's fairly easy to get everything synced up. And uh, I don't think Shadowplay is liking working with trying to render and do all this and record all at the same time. But what you'll do if the data and the uh, video are not perfectly synced up is when you get your car up to the line and you start revving up, use the sound of your engine and match it with the tachometer. And you can match up the data perfectly. Now the way you, you do that in race render is you select your data right here your log and you do side by side and right now it's selected for the selfie so we actually want to switch to the gopro view so what you're going to do if your data and your uh, video aren't perfectly synced which they should be most of the time but i've had some times where there's a delay in the phone saying hey gopro start recording so that can cause a delay. It's not going to be perfect. This is the cheaper solution versus buying a setup that does this all automatically all at once. So like I said, it's a little bit more work, but you'll get real good at it real quick. So you can see this is the GPS. Um, so what you'll need to do is either advanced or bring forward your timestamp in relation to your video. And all you do is just you can advance it forward and back until you get that sound is matched up with the data. And that'll take some playing with. Uh, it usually takes, uh, I've been doing it now for a long time, and it usually takes about five minutes for me to do it. So you may need to do the same thing with your selfie view. And again, that's the same thing. Now you'll notice uh, a lot of times you'll have two audio channels here. So you might have to go in and you might have to go in and configure it and mute your selfie view because otherwise it's going to be, especially in my car, because I'm running a remote microphone on the GoPro view, it's going to be blah, 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 blah from two different channels and it's going to sound terrible. So that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, I mean, there's a lot more you, we can go into here and maybe we can do another video if you guys have any further questions about race render and setting all this stuff up. Um, but that should get you going. Uh, you'll need to play around with it, and there are lots more settings you can play with. But I want to keep this video kind of short and to the point, and get you guys going at least uh, at least to the point where you can get your data onto the GoPro video. So again, let me know if you have any other questions, and thanks again for watching.